an introduction to white canes used by our members. Even for those of us who have good vision, navigating our busy world can be a tricky process. With moving objects, changing light and varied terrain, we can see hazards and obstacles in our path and move around them. However, for those without sight, getting around even familiar places can be much more taxing, frightening and even dangerous. Atmospheric conditions can make getting around a real ordeal for people who are trying to make the most of their limited vision. Glare from the sun can prove overpowering and ambient shadows can easily camouflage hazards like stairs and curbs. In situations like these, mobility aids such as white canes really come into their own. And this is why people with low or no vision use a white cane to help them navigate their environment with a sense of confidence and security. There are four common types of mobility aid used by our members. They are the long cane, guide cane, symbol cane and support stick. Each of these varieties is constructed from light aluminium tubing which is coated with a reflective white veneer. These mobility aids can all be folded away and kept in a bag or pocket when not in use. The long white cane is perhaps the most commonly known variety of white cane. It is designed to be held out in front of the body and makes contact with the ground slightly ahead of the person. These canes are equipped with a tip which is swept back and forth across the ground to scan for obstacles. Long white canes can be equipped with a variety of tips that are tailored to aid in the navigation of different types of terrain. The long white cane is commonly used by people with very severe sight loss and requires training by a professional rehabilitation worker. The white guide cane is held in a similar manner to the long cane but doesn't require as much training to use. This cane is generally not as long and is used by those with some useful vision. It aids in judging distance and dimensions of unfamiliar objects including depth of curbs and stairs. The white symbol cane is similar in length to the white guide cane but is much thinner. As the name suggests, this cane serves as a signifier to inform those around the user that they have a visual impairment and may have trouble navigating their environment or taking evasive action. This is particularly useful in busy areas such as shops and public transport. The white symbol cane is used by those who have some residual vision. Unlike the three white canes, the white support stick is used like a walking stick to aid with balance. These are usually supplied by a physiotherapist or hospital to home team. In the case of sight loss, the rehabilitation worker would upgrade the support stick with a white reflective coating that indicates that the user has a visual impairment. One wee note to finish with, you may have heard these mobility aids casually referred to as white sticks. Now that you have been acquainted with the correct terminology, you can help us to avoid the perpetuation of this misnomer. We hope that you have found this introduction useful and would like to thank you so much for watching.